Hi everybody, here we go again with a new free workplace assessment. This one is for Stefania, who uh, lives in Ireland, and in her very kind mail she has said two super important things. Thing number one she said is that after my videos she realized that she cannot work for hours on a laptop. Excellent point, this is true. You always need a separate keyboard and mouse if you want to spend hours on your laptop. Point number two, she said, is that she cannot change her posture if she doesn't make environmental changes and efforts. And this is also very true. I mean, you know, I'm not a magician. I can teach you how to have a good posture. But if your chair is so bad that, you know, uh, you can't sit properly, well, all your posture efforts won't be, uh, won't be enough. And here we see that indeed Stefania has a, has a nice chair that she has nicely adjusted I don't know this very model, but like this, it looks really super ergonomic. As you see, she has her feet on the ground. That's absolutely great. And there's enough space here behind her knees so that she can really have a firm support in, in her lower back, actually under um, at belt level, um, to absorb the pelvic tilt that is due to, to gravity. And here we see that there's no pressure uh, or very little pressure behind the shoulder blades. That's also what we want. I have some more doubt here on the position of the headrest. I'm wondering if the headrest is not um, is not a bit too close to the head, but this is uh, this would be very minor. As you see, she has uh, really um, been quite inventive in transforming what seems to be a bed in in a desk by having a plank here which will be the place where she has the keyboard and the mouse now this is for the the many many positive things and you know well my job is is to, is, is, is to be picky so let's be a bit picky and uh, i see basically two things that could be improved the first thing i see is that maybe this is a big maybe, yeah? uh, maybe your, your posture is a bit stiff in the sense that I have the impression you're a bit like this, you know? Uh, it could be that you benefit from one, looking at my video on how to find a neutral sitting posture, I will link it at the end of this one. Two, just go back five centimeters from your desk and that should give you a bit more, more space, you will realize that you're less say close to the um, to the backrest at shoulder blade level that you're a bit um, yeah more distance from your backrest this is point one it's it's not a very big thing but it could be that uh, that your back tends to be slightly hollow therefore contracted point number two is if i take the the horizontal line from your eyes my impression is that um, i arrive at the middle of your screen meaning that when you look at the upper part of the screen you will extend your neck like this what you want is basically that the top of the screen is 10 degrees below your line of sight so here i suspect that your laptop is a bit too high which may not be easy to to resolve uh, like this because you're a bit bound by the height of the of the furniture in theory, there would be two solutions, you know, either you adjust Stefania to the height of the, um, of the laptop, but you see, it would mean that you raise the chair, you raise the plank, and you put a foot rest because the feet won't be on the ground anymore. This is too complex and it will very be, be very difficult for her to find a relaxed sitting posture. So what's much easier is to think how we can lower the screen of the laptop in my opinion, the uh, easiest way for that is that when you use, say, the bed as a workstation, you um, tilt the mattress and put it against the wall so that the, the laptop uh, rests like 10-15 centimeters lower and that should be more comfortable. But really, these are the only two things that could be improved on this uh, workstation design. So congratulations, Stefania, for managing a great, great, great ergonomic uh, workstation uh, with what you have. This is what we want. Congratulations to you.